Well, wel welcome everybody. Um, I'm Charles Davidson, the executive director of the Kleptocracy Initiative. During the collapse of the Soviet Union, Ukraine's economy was ruled by so-called Red Directors. This was the title given to individuals appointed to manage huge industrial enterprises. Many accumulated personal wealth at the expense of the state-owned businesses they were put in charge of. Some earned enough money to buy controlling stakes in those enterprises when they were privatized during the earlier 1990s. Mikola Yankovsky, he was the epitome of a red director. His USSR Communist Party membership card, emblazoned with a portrait of Lenin and Marx in his pocket, was not an impediment to lining his own pockets at the expense of the Ukrainian taxpayer. Yankovsky, in 1988, was appointed Director General of Concern Styrol in Horlivka, a large industrial city in eastern Ukraine. The enterprise was and remains a gigantic producer of fertilizers and chemical products. The facility is located in an area of Donbass currently controlled by Kremlin-backed groups. The change in the form of ownership of the plant did not result in a change of the principles of production. Concealing income from the state allowed the Yankovskys to buy the enterprises during the early 2000s. The same practice continued after Yankovsky owned it. A network of offshore companies and unsophisticated schemes increased the personal wealth of the owner, while the state received less and less in taxes than was due. Concern Styrol, meanwhile, was deprived of investment funds needed to develop and modernize production. The reports also contain information about the loans that Friston LLP gave to companies owned by the Yankovsky family to buy expensive houses and cars. The audits also mention Camo Invest Trade LLP as an interrelated entity. The company in 2006 replaced Friston LLP in the sales chain of urea and ammonia exports through the Hungarian washing machine. This investigation next submitted a request to the Public Chamber of Hungary. Through a local law firm, copies of the registration documents for Interprofit 2000 KFT, which had re-registered the address of directors several times, were received. Igor Yankovsky and his wife Svetlana Sukhina are listed as beneficial owners of Interprofit 2000 KFT. The information confirms with 100% certainty that the entire chain of companies through which concerns sterile, ammonia and urea exports to world markets belonged to the same Ukrainian family, the Yankovsky family. How did the Yankovsky family launder money offshore? This investigative report is based partially on data from the Ukrainian Unified Customs Database. It lists all concerned sterile contracts, sales figures, supply conditions, and counterparties from 2003 to 2008, when the plant was controlled by Mikola Yankovsky, his only son Igor, and the managers they hired. The database shows that all concerned sterile contracts for urea and ammonia exports were concluded with Interprofit 2000 KFT, a company registered in Hungary. Interprofit 2000 KFT in turn contracted with the British offshore Friston LLP. Because LLP is a public company, under the UK law, it was audited annually. Copies of audit reports of Matthew Edwards & Co. were provided based on the law of public access to the reports of UK public companies. The audits show the ultimate beneficiaries of Friston LLP were Mikola and Igor Yankovsky. From 2003 to 2006, the Yankovsky family laundered more than $500 million in the Hungarian washing machine. In 2003, $124 million. In 2004, $115 million. In 2005, $269 million. In 2006, $23 million. How did the Yankovsky family manage to launder $500 million through the Hungarian tampon? The calculation is based only on official documents about three companies owned by the Yankovsky family. 
The last, almost most important part of the investigation remains. The sale of concerned sterol to Group DF for more than $700 million in July 2010. Dimitro Firtash probably made an initial offer in 2009 with the active participation of Concerned Sterol Security Department head Pablo Pormchi, almost all middle and upper level managers at the plant were forced to officially resign their positions for personal reasons, unquote, according to former employees of the enterprise. As a result, which is corroborated by official registrar data, Igor Yankovsky, who previously held positions in shell companies registered in the UK and Hungary, becomes Concerned Sterol President. And Yuri Mironenko, made concerns their old financial director. Same year, Friston LLP concentrates 14% of concern sterol shares and buys 76.3% of sterol Kim Invest. Dr. Blum Holding BV, using credit extended by Friston LLP and Chemo Invest Trade LLP. The transactions laid out in the annual audit reports filed by Matthew Edwards and Co. show the value of the first SOC package to be 90 0.3% of Stirok Hill Invest shares, concentrated in both Yankovsky shell companies, Kristen LLP and Camo Invest Trade LLP, valued at about $75 million. What is known from public sources, including the official Group DF press release, is that this package was sold for $700 million to Group DF. The sale of Concern Sterol netted the Yankovsky family about 600 million US dollars, in addition to the more than 500 million dollars they collected from export sales via shell companies during the 2000s. So the total exceeds 1 billion US dollars. Forbes Ukraine magazine in 2011 estimated Mikola Yankovsky to be worth $181 million. He appears to have been grossly undervalued. Ukraine's state security service in 2016 opened a criminal investigation into the activities of Sterol Biofarm on suspicion of financial terrorism. The announcement coincided with visits to Sterol Biofarm by leaders of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic. DNR Field Commander Alexander Khodorkovsky on March 27, 2016 said on his live journal page that narcotic drugs are still produced at the plant, which is inaccessible to Ukrainian troops and Kremlin militant groups. The few people who know what is going on there could not say much because they disappeared so quickly, Khodorkovsky said.